can come in, and it seems to be the ass eaters in the crowd. <laughs> Definitely one way to make America great again. Okay. All right, we have two more comedians left. Can we can we get some energy going? Okay, so this next guy, if, he, if he's not doing comedy, he might be singing opera. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Todd Strange. Indeed, Todd Strange. <laughs> so my wife and I are both professional opera singers. Yeah. Yeah, lot of lot of uh, lot of father. Two amazing yeah. artists, eleven beautiful years of marriage under one roof. Can't stand each other. <laughs> but it's opera after all, right? It's the ballet of voice. It's very dainty. It's very delicate. It's like we have little uh, vaginas in our throats. <laughs> you seen the vocal cords? Yeah. Have you seen the vocal cords? Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks like you have a little vagina in the throat. Just look at that. Good. It'll be fun. You might get a rise out of it, I don't know. I don't know your style. Anyway, yeah, it's like we have a little vaginas in our throat, so we have to, uh, we, we have to treat it as such. We can't just go raw dog in these puppies. We have to uh, be delicate, just a tip, be kind, rewind, what have you, consent. Can I go? Yes, you can. So uh, a bigger room at my house might sound something like this. Um, babe, uh, did you take out the garbage? Very important to oscillate the voice, by the way. Uh, no, babe, did you uh, feed the dogs? No, babe, did you walk the dogs? No, babe. And I can see in your faces, you know what's going to happen. It's going to escalate fucking opera fights, right? Yeah. You. Let me ask you a question. You think two professional dancers have a dance off every time somebody doesn't take out the fucking garbage? I mean, West Side Story now? The up snaps and shit? Yeah. No, we don't do that. But wouldn't the world look amazing if it was just opera fights and dance fights? It would be incredible. It would be an extravaganza. Every bar brawl, every gang fight would look like the ending musical number to some amazing musical shit. The January 6th, the insurrection would look like the end of fucking Hamilton. Am I right? Except for the guy in horns, he's probably uh, in his own opera. I feel like he's definitely in his own opera. So if that was our world, I think an opera fight in my house might look something like this. Where's my kombucha? I drank it yesterday. You shut my tongue for me. Where is my wallet? I'm going to fucking be late for work. Yeah. We don't do that. <laughs> yeah, as you might wonder where I get this amazing musical ability. I was born and raised Mormon. Any Mormons in the audience? Oh my. Any former Mormons? Any Formans? <laughs> Guess this is for you. <laughs> Grab a Sprite, sit back, enjoy. Um, yeah, Foreman. That's I made that up. Um, yeah, former Mormon. Yeah, so we basically have the same skill sets you all have. We can all sing, dance, act, be nice to people, lead with <laughs> kindness, things like that. It's like the first download after baptism. They put us in the chair, put some holy oil on, and bam, we're singing a dancing for Jesus. Yeah. Maybe I should have stayed in longer. I don't know. Could have had those Jesus underoos with special Jesus powers. You heard about these? The garments? Yeah. They give you special protection. Spiritual, special spiritual protection. There he is. Or I could have had like seven or eight more wives taking some pressure off my current wife. Yeah. And they say if you if you do well, you do all, all the shit right, they say, yeah, good job. You kicked ass. Great job. You get your own planet. You become a god. That would be awesome. Just to have my own little planet. Little planet of Boom, Bill. That's what I call it. I'd be the top guy because it rhymes. It'd be awesome. Like people would be like quoting my name during sex. Oh my Todd. Oh my Todd. Stuff their toe. Todd. Damn it. It'd be awesome. I would have lots of fun with my little world. Sing down to them. Don't jerk off with that hand. Try the other hand. Get it numb. Call it the stranger. Hey ho. That'd be fun. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Strong, yeah, strong crowd. Yeah, so I am an opera singer. What does that mean to you? I don't know. It means I'm singing songs written a hundred years ago by a bunch of dead white dudes in languages you don't give a shit about. It's super woke. Just come check it out. It's like, hi, welcome to opera, blackface, misogyny, tokenism, all welcome. Ooh, pedophilia, you get a front row seat. You want a cookie? <laughs> Aristocratic lives matter. Pasha caviar, puppy. <laughs> That's why I got an opera for the money. Some dude's are like, really? Fuck no, dude. What do you think this is, like 1833 Strasbourg? Ah, we can talk. My name is Todd. Yeah, I buy beer for everyone. I'm rich opera singer. Now, this is 2023. We're some broke-ass blue-collar bitches, man. We take any we take any gig we can. Like, half the money from the gigs that we get, we spend just to look nice with the aristocratic crowd that doesn't fucking listen to us anyway. Hi. Or, um, you know, the other half we spend on the 405, smoking a joint, waiting for our Del Taco and the drive through yeah. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this one time I smoked so much pot. I was doing a. Uh, it was the night before, and I, I, you know, woke up very, very confused and not remembering a lot. And I went to this, this very, you know, that had this gig the next day, and uh, it was aristocratic crowd that wasn't listening to me anyway, and I was uh, singing a very, very famous aria from La Boheme. It was called, I'm sure you know it, join in. Anyway, um, couldn't remember the words, thank you. Couldn't remember the words, I was just going to my mental grab bag of bullshit, and I couldn't remember anything except for the K, K. So I decided to make it up and make it sound like Italian to see if they were fucking listening anyway. So I had some fun with it. Make it a little dirty. <laughs> K.Y. Jelly de Vagina. <laughs> Stay on topic. <laughs> La lubricatia de Bord. Cerca di Borba Shibla. You don't say no. Ah. They didn't know. They didn't fucking know. One of the girls was like, oh my god, Emily Amman is wonderful. Great job. That's the difference with like rock singers and opera singers. Like rock singers, they throw their panties on the stage. Opera singers is a little different. You know, it's a little older crowd. They might forget, they might throw their depends on the stage. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for this gift. I guess you want an encore. You wanna have some fun? Yeah! Yeah! Invite your opera singer friend to karaoke night. <laughs> Get him hammered like on a Wednesday in a two for one special. That'll be fun. One fun fact about opera singers, we all think we can sing basically any kind of music. And we basically can. It just always sounds like we're in a fucking opera. Every time. Here, here's the scene. Ah, thank you for inviting me. Hear this 80s classic. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Hey. I want to be the heat with somebody. Yeah. The night progresses. Gets a little more dramatic. Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. Uh, yeah. yeah, hit the bridge, buddy. And then, you know, as, as things get a little bit more dramatic and as you get a little more hammered through the night, we get a little cocky and think we can do hip hop. It's like, my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. Just what dropped down my balls. Oh, you bitches crawl. Motherfucker. Yeah. You guys have a great night. You've been such a receptive audience. Okay, you guys would have made it to our final comedian of the night. He is absolutely one of my favorites. He tours all over the country. He's a major stud, major headliner, and he was recently.